Next, NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again. It began with a sudden silence, an absence more profound than any noise, more deafening than a thousand alarms. For decades, Voyager 1 had journeyed through the darkness, whispering its faint, persistent signals back to Earth. Launched in 1977, the spacecraft had long outlived every expectation, continuing to transmit data from the edge of interstellar space some 15 billion miles away. It had become a symbol of endurance, of human curiosity projected into the vast unknown. Scientists monitored it with a reverent attentiveness, always expecting its quiet hum to persist, even as its systems aged and its power dwindled. But then came the final message, and everything stopped. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The moment Voyager 1's last transmission arrived, it wasn't a mechanical failure or simple silence that caught everyone off guard. It was the content of the message, a final burst of data, sudden and brief, as though the craft had summoned the last of its energy reserves to deliver one final communique. The data stream began as expected, familiar telemetry from deep space, but then, the instruments caught something strange, an anomaly, unlike anything previously recorded in decades of interstellar readings, something outside the realm of known cosmic phenomena. It appeared to be structured, intentionally organized. Not random, not noise, not natural. Within seconds of receiving the packet, the Deep Space Network's analysts were in motion, decrypting, cross-checking, analyzing. In a control room usually filled with methodical calm, a tangible urgency spread the information seemed to defy established astrophysical models. There were sudden spikes in energy fields that Voyager shouldn't have been able to detect. Patterns embedded in radiation frequencies that seemed too deliberate to be a coincidence. And then the transmission simply stopped. No fade, no static, just finality. The silence that followed was absolute. It blanketed the scientific world like a weight. A moment when every orbiting satellite Every ground-based observatory, every astrophysicist and engineer simultaneously paused. Not because of what was lost, but because of what might have been found. The nature of the message suggested one thing above all, contact. Not contact in the traditional science fiction sense. There were no words, no voices. But the transmission bore hallmarks of design, mathematical precision embedded in a foreign context. Frequencies layered like chords in an alien symphony. The waveform patterns formed ratios and sequences eerily close to the Fibonacci sequence but veering just slightly off course, as if rewritten by a different kind of intelligence with its own interpretation of mathematics, its own version of physics, its own understanding of reality. It wasn't just different, it was alien in the truest sense. And it came from beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind ends and interstellar space begins. That space, once thought empty and featureless, now held the fingerprints of something deliberate. Voyager 1 had glimpsed it, touched something out there, and used the last of its power to tell us. In that instant, every assumption about our place in the cosmos shifted. The notion of isolation was shattered, not by a booming message from the stars, but by the whisper of a dying machine. There was no time to consider the full ramifications before reactions cascaded across the globe. Mission Control held their breath, rechecking every signal path, every data frame, confirming it hadn't been a glitch or interference. But the data was real, authentic, the very nature of the transmission, its structured complexity and divergence from known physics, acted as a fingerprint. Voyager 1 had seen something, and it had tried to describe it with the language of the universe. Astronomers scoured the region of sky from which Voyager had last reported, but nothing unusual appeared in the visual, infrared, or radio bands. The area was quiet, empty. The message was a burst, not a beacon, an afterimage rather than a dialogue. Yet it left behind a sense of undeniable presence, a feeling that we were no longer just observers of the cosmos, but had finally been observed in return. Governments for the briefest time paused their rivalries, telescopes pivoted, Research centers, regardless of national boundaries, joined forces to dissect the transmission structure. Linguists, mathematicians, theoretical physicists, fields that rarely crossed paths, converged in global conference calls. 
Yet beneath the collaboration pulsed a collective anxiety. If this was indeed contact, then what did it mean? Was it a greeting? A warning? A footprint left unintentionally by something passing by? The message had no overt threat, no demands, no obvious signals of hostility, and yet its very existence implied scales of intelligence and perception far beyond humanity's own. If it was intentional, it was sent by something aware of us, or at the very least, a voyager. If it was unintentional, it meant that our tiny, nuclear-powered probe had wandered close to a phenomenon so massive, so intricate, that it imprinted its presence on Voyager's instruments like the brush of a titanic wind against a spider's web. Voyager 1's trajectory had not changed. It had not encountered a solid object, but something had intersected with it, or it had entered a region of space where reality behaved differently. Concepts of time, space, and matter may not apply in the same way beyond the heliopause. Perhaps this final message was not from an intelligence as we define it, but from the universe itself, unveiling a new dimension of its character. A layer of space that had remained hidden until Voyager unwittingly breached it. The implications were staggering. If the transmission could be decoded, if even a fraction of it could be understood, it might open a window to physics unimagined, energy forms unknown, even a glimpse into civilizations existing on completely different wavelengths of experience. The message was not just a point of curiosity, it was potentially the greatest scientific discovery in human history, and it came from the void. At the moment the last of our interstellar emissaries took its final breath, the timing was chilling. The probe had been slowing, its energy reserves dwindling. For years its messages had grown faint, scattered, more fragmented. Engineers had reconfigured its systems numerous times, cannibalizing one instrument to keep another alive. Every bit of data had become precious. And then, as if knowing it was time, it released this final act, a cosmic flare before succumbing to the cold. Nothing else has followed. Voyager 1 is silent now, beyond reach, a speck in the vast black sea. But that one transmission has rewritten the stakes. We sent a probe to study planets. It found something that was never in the plan, something that reached back. What Voyager 1 saw, what it recorded in those final moments, will occupy minds and theories for generations. The message wasn't just data. It was a shift in perception, a ripple that disturbed the still waters of cosmic solitude. Humanity had spent centuries gazing outward, waiting, wondering if anyone was out there. The final message didn't give a definitive answer, but it tilted the question. The silence of space is no longer just silence. It's a waiting breath, heavy with the awareness that something once moved there. This wasn't an invasion. There were no ships, no shimmering lights in the sky. It was more intimate than that. A quiet tap on the shoulder, a trace in the dust. A suggestion that the universe is not just a backdrop, but a stage on which others too have danced, or are still dancing unseen. Voyager 1 was never meant to carry the burden of revelation. It was a machine of measurement, a traveler without destiny. But in its aging circuits and long, lonely voyage, it became the perfect witness detached from Earth, yet still tethered by signal, alone in the dark, yet carrying with it the hopes of a species. And when it could go no further, it gave us this, the knowledge that we are not the only ones who can send a message across the stars. What remains now is interpretation. The transmission is being picked apart in a million directions. Some seek patterns in the anomalies hunting for mathematical proofs. Others listen for a melody hidden in the static. But beyond the scientific analysis is a more visceral human response. Awe. That raw electric pulse of realizing that the world just changed and nothing can ever be quite the same again. The sudden cessation of Voyager 1's voice didn't mark an end. It marked a beginning. A door opened in the mind, revealing that the universe is not a void, but a volume. One filled with secrets, messages, and perhaps eventual meetings. The final message was not a goodbye. It was a signpost pointing forward, into the unknown. It didn't bring closure. It brought questions. The kind that burned brighter than any answer. The Earth kept turning. The stars continued to shine. But for those who saw the data, who felt the gravity of what Voyager 1 might have touched, the world seemed different, livelier, less alone. It wasn't the kind of event marked by explosions or global broadcasts. It was something deeper 
a realignment of understanding, a quiet awe that settled like stardust in the mind. Voyager 1 now drifts in silence, its power gone, its instruments cold. But in that final transmission, it transcended its machinery. It became not just a tool of science, but a myth, a messenger not just of humanity, but of reality itself. Whatever it encountered, whoever, whatever, it shared a glimpse. A glimpse was all it needed. And in doing so, it didn't just stop the world, it reminded it to listen. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Voyager 1's final message? What do you expect happened? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.